What is up? What is up? What is up, everyone? It is your favorite cup of tea, T. Shea May, for another episode of Tea Red Time with T. Shea May. We are back at it again with another reading, and this time it is a reading of Leo season. So we're going to see what this fiery, rawr, lorn lion season has in store for us today. Alrighty, but before we go into it, disclaimer and disclosure, stick what resonates, leave what doesn't. If this reading comes across your way and you feel as though it hits and scratch you like Simba or Scar from Lion King, good, Gucci, yay! If it didn't and you just ended up like Mufasa, not really feeling anything at the end, it is what it is, okay? All right, let's go ahead and get into it. So our cards are strength. We have choices by spirit message. We have a fiery climax approaches full moon Aries by moonology. And then we have playfulness by romance angels. All right, kiddos, let's go ahead into it. Some of y'all have to begin letting your inner goddess or in this case inner lioness out it's a lot of inner work what i'm getting from this and it's very beautiful the fact that the strength card is the tarot card for the zodiac sign of leo popped up in this leo reading and i was hoping it would some of you guys have to look within your inner strength look within your inner selves do your inner work seek out your inner goddess seek out your inner lioness and <laughs> let that let that come out some of y'all bitches really got to go to pride walk for this one okay mm -hmm. but basically it, it's really already saying that you have the choice to let your inner self out once you start letting yourself out once you start letting yourself go but like not like in any negative connotation or context it's more like once you start to let what was in you come out and shine through or prowl through then pretty much like a lot of changes a lot of good things and a, a lot of changes a lot of good things and a lot of new things as well is going to come through spirit message just come from that once you do like your whole world is going to change like once you start letting out what's in your whole world out there is going to change and it's a good thing and it's something that everybody has to go through with a fireman climax approaches that is basically saying that once you allow yourself to open up to come out to pretty much show that inner strength that you have and stride to the pride lands and mere confidence of it, you are going to be that bitch. Some of y'all gonna be some hot boys in this motherfucker, I can already tell. And, and truly, this is a lot of fire energy already. This is a lot of fire energy. Inner fire that wants to spark out. There is an ignited flame that wants to come out and wants to shine through and wants to light up not just your body, not just yourself, not just your confidence, not just your strength, but also wants to light up the world around you as well. And Playfulness by Romance Angel says, to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So really, this all is saying is that once you allow yourself to pretty much let everything out, and it doesn't have to be everything, mind you. It doesn't have to be everything. It should not be everything, okay? But once some of y'all begin to pretty much allow that light, allow that fire, and allow that beautiful, bright, light energy from within you to come out and shine through everything is going to reflect that and whether it would be like you know your peers family career monetary financials everything once you start going through life with this inner strength with this inner confidence and you let that out 
everything is going to reflect and bring you prosperity and abundance. You have the strength to do it. And you're going to have the strength to maintain it. Bada bing, bada boom, bro. That's what it is. All right, everyone. Thank you again so much for those of you that joined this reading today. Thank you guys again. If this reading did resonate with you, leave a comment down below. Other than that, thank you guys again so much for joining me on this episode of Zero Time. And I'll see you next time on Dragon Ball Spirituality. Bye!